Take us through that, man. That's got to be pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, man. That was pretty, that's, just, that's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. You said in there just the start, but I mean, yeah, it's just, like big things to come, huh? Yeah, it's just the start. Everybody just thinks I'm a kickboxer. I'm dating just everywhere. I keep trying to tell people that. Take me through, uh, he threw some spinning stuff. He had some, some interesting, you know, techniques there in that first. Yeah. First half of the first round, did it just take a little bit of uh, getting used to being in there for you? Yeah, I had to, I had to get comfortable, settle down a little bit, because in training when you throw something spinning, I like to throw it back just like a, I guess, a, head, a ego thing. But I heard my coach settle down, settle down, don't get caught to the game. He threw me off a little bit. I didn't know he was going to throw that. So as I settled down, got more comfortable, got that body kicking, and uh, he started wrestling. So Yeah. Once he wanted to wrestle with you and, and you were able to kind of – flip it around and, and get that takedown. Did you just be like, man, this is a matter of time, this is a piece of cake? Yeah, when, I, when I, he started wrestling, I got the uh, hip toss on him. I knew we had a lot of time left in the round. And since I got his back, there's nothing he can do there. I trained with too many animals for me not to be able to control him on the ground. He's not big enough. And obviously, it, the, the, the finish wasn't instantaneous. You had to work at it just a little bit. But, yeah, but definitely. How good was he at, at fighting that? Uh, he, he's way stronger than I thought he was going to be. When he, when he grabbed my hand the first time, I'm like, I got it. He grabbed me, pulled me off like there's nothing. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on, he, uh, he got some grippers on him, so adjust it, change the grip a little bit. He got my hips into it and uh, locked it in. Take me through the process of, of getting um, getting that win on, on the Contender Series, and then the wait to be able to to be able to finally get the first official fight here uh, tonight. The you know, win on the Contender Series was a stressful stressful there because it was like uh, the opening to everything. It either happen or you got to start all over again. Getting that win released a lot off my shoulders. Now I got to the big show. It was like now I can have fun. Now I can show every part of my game. Now, now it's time to really enjoy. And what was it enjoyable in there? Was it a lot of fun? Was it yeah, it was enjoyable. It was a, it was a, it was a dream. You gotta think. You've been working so hard. When you get there, it's like ah, oh, time to show off. Try to show out. Try to show everybody who I am. What's uh, what do you you think you want next? And how soon do you want to get back in there? Uh, I got, I'm gonna take a couple a uh, couple days off. I'm not gonna take that long off because I'm I'm, I'm uh, healthy and everything. I'm gonna take a couple days off and. Uh, it's still the beginning, so whoever the UFC give me, that's when we'll fight. I don't turn anybody down. What kind of long-term uh, ambitions and goals do you have? Is it the same as everybody long -term you want Long-term goal. Everybody want a belt. Like, what's the point of being in this type of sport? You want to be the best. I'm here to be the best. Get top 10, top 5, number 1, champion. So I'm coming for everybody. You feel like you showed a lot of that potential tonight? Definitely, definitely. I showed everybody I'm not just a kickboxer. I have hands, I have power, but if I grab you, I can put you in a serious position.